Hey guys, so I was reading Mero's response to Universe Beyond. Mero basically said, I'm going to summarize this for you, if you really want a Universe Beyond free format, make one. If it gets enough player support, we will follow suit. Uh, again, this is them stealing your ideas. So let's read about ED8. Now, ED8 is a idea that they stole from a bunch of judges. They, these judges didn't get paid until recently. I mean, it's kind of funny, right? They waited for Sheldon to die. Probably never paid Sheldon a dime. And then stole his format. And then basically had a bunch of yes men, right? Or And yes women and yes trans. And uh, this is a pretty brutal thing. I think you gotta just quit magic at this point in time. Because they're, they're so bad at creating formats that they rely on their player base to do so for them. And the reason this is so, so, so bad is because without, without players playing the game, I mean, it's not up to the player. They're not the ones making billions of dollars from the game. Let's read it. Uh, Fist Bungle asked, um, and then his response, you say that magic is ever evolving and therefore closer to its roots than it's ever been. I think the problem is when people try to tell you adding Spider-Man is a bad thing, is these are the people who followed the very story Wizard took the time to create and then it something sacred. They're the people who either grew up with purifying fire or actually rooted for the Gatewatch, the people who cheered when Nocobolis went down. I think those people are people who are sad to see Spider-Man eating up that space. It's like your favorite series, but the plot is totally different. It's the story people care about, whether told through the cards or on the Wizards website, that Wizards made us care about, only to then tell us it doesn't matter. Fans don't like it when it happens. I feel like you must understand deep down. I do understand why people dislike Universe Beyond. I am very invested in Magic Creative, I spent time creating Magic Story, the Weatherlight Saga. I've done card concepting, I've done names and flavor text. They, there was even a few years where I managed the creative team. There was even a time where I shared these beliefs about Magic's creative should and shouldn't be and was firmly against outside properties of Magic cards. I understand all because of, for a long time, I was you. But what Magic is and is not isn't decided by one person. It's decided by the collective conscious of all of us, which is basically how much shit can we sell you, right? That's the collective conscious. Is as long as it sells, we're going to sell it. I don't personally like walls as a creep creature type. Commander isn't my personal cup of tea. And as a player, I am not a fan of this card. But those are all part of Magic because the amalgam of Magic players want it to be part of the game. And I respect that being part of the Magic community is letting each player have the ability to enjoy what they love about the game. No, when we started Universe Beyond, we weren't sure what the player response would be. We dipped our toe in slowly. We limited what formats it would appear in. We then looked at the data. Now what the hell is the data, guys? That's the money signs. That's the mother effing money signed. And didn't care what the creative that was on it. So over time, we leaned more in that direction. But look, if there is a large enough player base that cares, we'll respond. If you really want a universe beyond free format, make one. If it gets enough support, we'll follow suit. Now remember this. Uh, remember, we didn't make Commander. The players did, and then they stole it from us. Guys, they stole Commander from the players. I, I cannot like emphasize this enough. They had no the whole idea of Commander is that Wizard of the Coast was not involved because they would do stupid things to it. And they would monetize it. The entire idea of Commander was you can play a shitty deck, an angel deck, just your favorite angel card. Not super competitive, incredibly casual, and because of the team format, they're not gonna target you because your your deck is not that strong. So they might go after each other. You might even win a game or two of Commander because of people going after each other instead of you because you have a weak deck. The idea of Commander was you don't need to buy new cards. You don't need a constant... Like, I think everyone forgot this because they're not old school players like me. I was there from the very get-go in Richmond, Virginia. I was in law school in William Mary Law at the time Commander was booming, right? And I can tell you exactly why 
um, Wizard of the Coast should not. The, the reason that they, um, so it's not Commander, it's called ED8, whatever, right? Like, the reason that they called it ED8 and then Wizards changed it to Commander is they didn't want to, like, acknowledge they stole it. The, the reason that, like, ED8, like, Elder Dragon Highlander, like, this was created by the players, it was named by the players. And the command, like, oh, we, we can't steal that. We gotta come up with our own format, which is identical, and then start making cards for it and start selling it. The, the correct, the most popular format by a large margin is, quote, remember, we didn't make Commander. The players did. When it got popular enough, we tried out a product, and the success of that product convinced us to make more. So these lazy motherfuckers being paid millions, if not billions of dollars to come up with creative ideas are just gonna simply steal your ideas. They stole Sheldon's idea. To my knowledge, it never paid that dude a dime. That these guys were not on payroll until recently. I wonder why that is the case, right? They basically let them go and then put them all back on payroll, minus like one shift on guy who's like having a meltdown meltdown on Twitter. Like that dude is just melting down on Twitter because they, they they essentially they got rid of the rules committee, created a new rules committee by hiring the exact same people, including Brian Kibler's like wife, whatever, right? The uh, Magic 30th, Dare to Dream, right? Dare to Dream, uh, pulling two boxes. Like that, that's the, they think, well, they won't get you hooked on gambling, my dude. We really do follow the will of the players. If what you feel is important to you, find fellow players who feel the same way. Get enough together and I promise we'll take notice so they can steal your idea. <laughs> Trust me, I have no doubt they're going to take notice. The guys, I have no mother effing doubt they're going to take notice because they're going to steal your idea. <laughs> You know, I mean, it. I was there from the get-go of Commander, and I, I tell you, these people have no idea what Commander is. Like these, what, these Harry Potter effing individuals. Like, I, I'm trying to like be nice, but I don't think I can be nice because they stole Commander from the player base, and I don't believe people. Um, I don't believe that people gave them enough shit for stealing Commander because they stole it. They made a shit ton of money. It printed a lot of money on the backs of these judges. And and now they own them, right? They're, they're literally mother effers on payroll right now. You're literally the guys who sold you Magic 30th. Like, I'm not joking, man. Like, I'm going to title this Steal ideas they're like hey guys why don't you make a new format so we can steal it <laughs> yikes yikes dude yikes so we cannot acknowledge that you and after you pass away or die we're going to uh piss on your graveyard shit man shit 